Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. Finally, after tons and tons and tons of requests from you guys, we are adding the T-Rex today to our park and I am beyond excited because I couldn't wait to add this iconic dinosaur to this park. And believe me, when I say tons, there were really a lot of them. Under basically all of my videos here in this series, there were some, at least some people commenting that they would really like to see the T-Rex added to the park and I really wanted to add it but I wanted to have like a very special place for the T-Rex because it is such a iconic and probably the most known dinosaur of all the dinosaurs and so I wanted to find a really nice beautiful spot for it in our park so the map that we are building this park on is the Isla Nublar 2015 and it comes with this like hill in one of the corners um, uh, like by default uh, back when I started this park we still didn't have like this ad option added to the game to the sandbox mode that you can choose to have your maps completely empty and flat uh, back then it wasn't there so I just went for a default map and one one of the corners there is like this huge hill and I thought that it will be a perfect spot to add a T-Rex in there it's just like a very representative spot and I thought that the uh, you know the habitats in there would look so so cool and uh, believe me when I say that I am super happy with how this habitat has turned out in the end it looks so good like exactly the way I wanted it to look uh, so yeah I had this idea for quite some time I just was waiting for us you know to complete the whole park to go like to the spot that will be only left with this space here on this hill uh, to finish this whole series with a bang with adding this most iconic dinosaur that is the t-rex at the end of uh, the series so yeah today it is a last speed build a last build in this park such a bittersweet moment i am so happy to finally finish a project here on youtube but i just love this park so much i learned so much uh you know uh, different techniques and buildings a uh, building basically in this game by creating this park uh, there are so many dinosaurs that I love in here there are so many uh, you know uh, episodes that you guys love that got so many views so uh, this I will always be like nostalgic about this series because it was my first Jurassic World Evolution 2 series on the channel and now we are finally finishing it of course this is not a last video uh, we will still do a final tour of all the things that we've built in this park so I'm sure that it'll take some time to go around the whole park because it is huge and it features so many different dinosaurs uh, but yeah today it is a last speed build last time that you'll be see you'll see me building in this park so yes yeah, such a bittersweet moment before I will do the final tour, I just need to do some like uh, finishing touches to this whole park. I mean, I need to add some decorations where the in the places where they are missing. I need to add some foliage, uh, so a uh, really like small cosmetic details uh, that are really po important for uh, the whole you know experience at the final tour. So I will do it probably next week and next weekend. I think you can expect the final tour. Uh, so get ready. So when it comes to our last build, the T-Rex enclosure, as I told you guys, I wanted to do something really, really beautiful and cool. Uh, so of course I used the hill. Uh, I wanted to make it look very like jungly, very lush with different kinds of foliage, but still not to dance so the guests will be able to see the T-Rex. Uh, I added the viewing tower for the guests because uh, this is such a huge enclosure that uh, you know the viewing galleries, the normal ones, uh, wouldn't be I think enough for them to see them if they will go to the back. 
Uh, I also had this really cool idea of, uh, you know, creating sort of like a viewing point for the uh, T-Rexes at the top of the hill. So I flattened the terrain in there and I imagined this whole like scene <laughs> where the T-Rex just goes there, uh, takes a look at the entire park because there's a really nice view from this hill and, you know, makes this like very iconic roar uh, with the view for the, on the entire park, like a very Jurassic Park or Jurassic World uh, scene, something that you'll see in that movie. Uh, so yeah, I had it in my, in my mind and that's why I decided to leave this like uh, spot in there without any foliage so uh, the T-Rex could potentially go there and do that scene for us. Not sure that we'll be able to see that uh, in the tour part of this video, but uh, I will do my best. So yeah, what I did here was firstly adding those small lakes. Uh, I thought that a big lake will look very like weird on this hill, so uh, I thought that small ones on different you know heights will look really cool, and I really like this by the end. Uh, and then I wanted to you know blend the entire habitats with the foliage that is outside of the buildable part of the map. Uh, so I made it very dense on the parameter of the entire habitat like next to the fences and then I try to like make it gradually less dense towards the fence if it makes any sense using different foliage using different you know types and different heights of the foliage uh, to create some depth some perspective and in the end I think it looks really cool uh, like adding a lot of rocks also really helped in here I wanted to make it look like the rocks are sort of you know falling down from this huge hill uh, so I also like this whole effect and yeah in the end I am really happy with this enclosure uh, it will feature two T-Rexes I actually thought for a second to add three uh, but I think that the T-Rex is more like a solitary animal so this will, could look a bit like, weird having three in here uh, I decided to go for a big ET from Camp Cretaceous pack because I still haven't got the chance to see it even because I didn't play with T-Rex uh, since the pack was released. And I also added the new one from the Dominion uh, expansion pack, uh, the Scarred uh, T-Rex. Uh, I thought of going for a feathered one, but uh, this is like a tropical climate, so I don't know, like the feather woolly T-Rex like didn't fit in here too much. I don't know why it just in my mind it didn't work. Uh, we'll do uh, different parks in different like climates and then I am sure that I will add the feathered one because I really like how it is looking. And after being done with the enclosure I of course did some decorations like outside of it. This time I added those really cool security cameras that were added with a, like recent patch. I think that they are from the new Dominion map and now we are able to use them in different uh, you know parks so really cool stuff uh, really cool it looks so cool for you know security purposes and stuff like that I of course added a lot of planters and those concrete fences that I love so much uh, I just you know continued the work that we did this habitat is sort of squeezed in between the Teresinosaurus habitat and the Pyroraptor habitat so uh, we did some decorating there and I just you know continued it next to the uh, T-Rex habitat and it looks so so cool still uh, we are in the section where the guests are on this sort of elevated path and they get uh, such a cool view inside of the Mosasaurus lagoon so they are following this path visiting those really cool enclosures of those very iconic and beautiful dinosaurs like Pyroraptor, like T-Rex, like Teresinosaurus uh, and they are able to still see the Mosasaurus so I am very very happy with how this idea has turned out and basically that I was able to come up with something like this I am just a genius. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm not, but I am very happy. I am basically very happy. I am very happy with this park and I am very happy that we finally finished it and that I will be able to show you guys the final results in the next video. 
I of course forgot to mention that I just passed 9,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that. Welcome to all the new people. The channel is growing like amazing recently, so thank you guys. This is so, so cool. Uh, I am beyond grateful and I hope that you'll enjoy my future videos as well, as much as you are doing it now. All the comments and all the support is just amazing. So thank you guys for this so so much and with that being said I will see you in a second to give you guys a tour of our final enclosure uh, of the T-Rex that was just added to our park. Okay guys, welcome to the tour part of this video. As you can see, we are now uh, next to the Teresinosaurus habitat that we uh, created last time. And if we'll continue this way, you will see the new and final enclosure for the T-Rex. Uh, so the guests can see it, like uh, they can go pretty close to the fences to see the T-Rex that is in here. We are lucky because we can see it right now. Uh, and they have two viewing galleries and one viewing tower. So let's go to the first viewing gallery. Uh, yeah, this habitat is very dense. There are a lot of trees. Uh, the T-Rex is in there, as you guys can see. Uh, and I really love the view for this mountain that is uh, there, like uh, in the background. As you guys can see, everywhere in here we get those sneak peeks of the Mosasaurus Lagoon. It is somewhere there. I don't know where, but probably swimming somewhere. Uh, right now, let's go to the viewing uh, tower. And here is where you get this beautiful view for this enclosure. I am so, so happy with how it has turned out. It's so beautiful. Uh, so lush and those dinosaurs have so much space uh, to you know roam around it uh, those mountains look so so good in the back and yeah our t-rex is here looking really majestic oh there are two of them actually uh, so yeah really cool view for this uh, exhibit this one is lying down okay so uh, coming further, we have also this uh, next viewing gallery that we can visit. So yeah, this is how it looks. Not the best view because it is, you know, a bit low uh, comparing to the viewing tower, but still, I'm so in love with this enclosure. Uh, and here is another like part where the guests can see the uh, the T-Rexes from the path basically okay so let's go back out of the explored mode and let's show you guys this entire enclosure because it looks like this i really love you know that this is dense in the back and that the foliage is gradually like not as dense in here at the front it looks so so good with all those rocks this was actually a lot of work to add those rocks in here and as you guys can see, we have our T-Rex in here. This is the big ET from Camp Cretaceous. Uh, probably one of my favorites uh, when it comes to all the, the uh, T-Rex skins. Really beautiful. I love this color and those stripes. And it has this like really beautiful eye. Uh, and the other one is the scarred one from the uh, Dominion uh, expansion. Unfortunately, it is sleeping, but as you guys can see, it has those uh, like scars on its body. Uh, like it is more beige, like uh, grayish colors, but still looks really, really cool. Uh, okay, uh, so there, those are those uh, uh, lakes that I told you guys about. Here's another one, and there, this is like a hidden one in here. And here's like this special place uh, for the T-Rex to come here and to do uh, like the roar with the view for the entire habitat. We can actually uh, like go into the first person mode to show you guys how this view is looking because it is so beautiful i love it uh looking so so like dense but you can see all those enclosures in the back and i can imagine the t-rex just standing there and roaring uh and yeah i'm sure that they are able to come here it is not as steep 
but uh, still haven't seen them here, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, this is the habitat. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I love it so much. It is looking so, so good. Like uh, with this Pterinosaurus in here, with this Dimetrodon. Here we have the Pyroraptor. Uh, so now we have like this entire path like circling around in this uh, lagoon and everything is complete. Uh, so yeah, basically our whole park is complete. Uh, there are still some things that I want to add, uh, as I told you guys but it is done it is huge and it is done i can show you a map briefly like as you guys can see this uh, enclosure is also huge uh and here are all the enclosures that we already built so as you guys can see this whole habitat is filled like there's no habitat but the map is filled uh with uh, different dinosaurs different enclosures and i will show you guys all of it in the next episode uh, next week so yeah this is what we've built today uh, i hope you guys like this enclosure uh, if you liked the video please consider to subscribe to my channel uh, this would really mean a world to me and would help my little channel to grow uh, so if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up down below uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time i upload a new video and of course comment down below if you are happy that finally the t-rex is added to this park our final dinosaur is here uh, and of course if you are excited for a final tour that will happen probably next week okay guys this is all thank you guys thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys